Russia compiling psychological dossier on Donald Trump for Vladimir Putin. Russian officials are reportedly compiling a psychological dossier on U.S. President Donald Trump for Russian President Vladimir Putin ahead of their first meeting. Among the conclusions is that Mr. Trump is an eye of risk taker who doesn't understand fully who is Mr. Putin, he is a tough guy. Former Deputy Foreign Minister Andrei Fedorov told NBC News that the file is being put together by retired diplomats and some of Mr. Putin's staff to help the Russian leader plan for his first meeting with the Republican billionaire. The meeting date has not yet been decided. Very serious preparatory work is going on in the Kremlin, including a paper, seven pages, describing a psychological portrait of Trump, especially based on this last two to three months, and the last weeks added Mr. Fedorov, who said he has known Mr. Trump since 2000. He also said the dossier was being revised regularly, adding that many in the Kremlin believe Mr. Trump sees the presidency as a business. Trump is not living in a box, he is living in a crowd. He should listen to the people around him especially in the areas where he is weak, Mr. Fedorov said. Trump cannot come to a meeting with Putin as a loser, he must sort out his domestic problems first. NBC News reports it is normal for leaders to be fully briefed on who they are meeting, detailed dossiers on the mind and instincts of a U.S. leader is unusual. Mr. Fedorov said Mr. Putin's government is growing increasingly concerned about Mr. Trump's ongoing controversies in Washington. They also fear he does not have the political power to improve relations with Russia, as he has promised. It comes after U.S. intelligence agencies concluded that Russia worked to undermine the U.S. election process in a bid to help Mr. Trump win the White House. Trump again hits at it Sweden. After coming under fire for making up a Swedish terror attack, President Trump has tweeted further criticism of the Scandinavian country's immigration policies. The fake news media is trying to say that large-scale immigration in Sweden is working out just beautifully. Not. He tweeted on Monday. People in Sweden have been scratching their heads since Mr. Trump suggested during a rally Friday that some sort of incident had occurred in their country. Mr. Trump tweeted on Sunday he was referring to something he saw on television. The president might be referring to a segment aired on Friday night on the Fox News Channel show Tucker Carlson Tonight that reported Sweden had accepted more than 160,000 asylum seekers last year but that only 500 of the migrants had found jobs in Sweden. The report went on to say that a surge in violence had followed. Mattis, U.S. not in Iraq to seize oil. In a bid to soothe partners rattled by Mr. Trump, Defense Secretary Jim Mattis told reporters in Baghdad that the United States is not about to plunder Iraq's petroleum reserves. Mr. Trump has repeatedly said both while campaigning and since his election that America, whose troops occupied Iraq for eight years should have grabbed Iraqi oil to help fund its war effort and to deprive the Islamic State group of a vital revenue source. But Mattis, a retired Marine general who commanded troops during the 2003 invasion of Iraq, appeared to nix the idea on Monday. All of us in America have generally paid for gas and oil all along, and I am sure that we will continue to do so in the future, Mattis said at the start of a visit to Iraq. We are not in Iraq to seize anybody's oil, oil.